You never know who you're gonna run into in a gym sometimes. Here is Jeff Shaw. This guy's hilarious. Follow him on Instagram, social media. What's your Instagram, social media? Uh, at Jeff the Fun Dude. Jeff the Fun Dude. On I'll have the link in the description. And, and your website? Uh, ComedianJeffShaw.com. ComedianJeffShaw.com. I've seen the show. He's hilarious. The audience was just roaring, just bent over laughing. So and check you him know out. what? I can tell you right now is uh, mass mandates in the gym are kind of like me in the gym. Neither one is really working out. <laughs> See what I told you? This guy's hilarious. Thanks, Jeff. Today's third stop, Bimimi Bahamas, and there it is behind me. Today is going to be kind of different. I decided I wanted to do another sauna suit challenge, so uh, I am in a sauna suit. And the last time I did something like this, it was in Death Valley, California. It was 113, 114 degrees that day. Actually, my sauna pants, I think around hour two, broke, split. And uh, but uh, yeah, I uh, did. Uh, I think it was three, three between three and four hours in Death Valley, California. It's only 80 some degrees here today, so it's not going to be as brutal. Uh, so I'm going to go for about between four or five hours uh, in a sauna suit. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, looks like a beautiful island. So I'm going to do some walks and keep the suit on because I can't take it no more. It's already after an hour in the suit, and it's quite toasty. Uh, I got the sweat raining, but that's just how it goes. One of the most important things you gotta remember. So at the beach, Hepamimi, it is uh, 82, 83 degrees. Um, it is, uh, the thing I didn't think about, the difference between here and Death Valley is the humidity. So it's gonna be pretty brutal just because of that alone. I have been raining rivers of sweat uh, for about an hour and a half now into this. And uh, one of the important things you need to do when you're doing anything in the heat, the sun, uh, any strenuous activity, especially in a sauna suit, hydration. You gotta stay hydrated. I think in Death Valley I had, uh, I think it was at least six liters of electrolytes in water. So you gotta stay hydrated. You gotta you know, know your body. I've been uh, doing sauna rooms and sauna pots at Glowstone Spa for over a year. I've um, did the Death Valley Challenge, so I'm very well attuned to how my body feels. But yeah, definitely uh, have have a have a buddy with you, a friend, somebody that can help monitor you because sometimes you don't you don't know that you're getting heat exhaustion. So, well, here I go. I'm gonna try to get a couple more hours in. Okay, it is now three hours in the sauna suit. It is 81% uh, humidity today. So even though it's only like 80 something degrees, because of the humidity, it is uh, definitely bringing out the sweat more. Of course I look like an oddball out here in the sun sea. But uh, about to like, walk in the water in the suit have a little bit of a cool off. Of course I look like a spaceman walking on the beach. But this is my life story, so everybody else can just have me as a, a weird member. Like, hey, that was that weird dude walking in some kind of gray suit on the beach. And so be it. If you live your life always worried about what others think of you, then you're not really living your life on your terms. Some life advice right there. Alright, I'm gonna go into the water in the sauna suit. Over three hours, so I'm going an hour, you know, approaching hour four, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cool off a bit.
So I'm out here in the water here in the Bahamas and every now and then you get some of these epiphanous moments in life where you just have these thoughts and it's just a thought I wanted to share. Looking out at the sea and just you know see some dark clouds in the distance or not really dark dark clouds but I was just thinking about life or like what's next and a lot of times a lot of folks are different no matter what part of life you're in you're young or old sometimes you get that moment where you're like you don't know which direction you're going in or you don't know you quite yet what the future holds but as I'm sitting out here looking across this water you know some people would see it as daunting some people see it as uh, terrifying but like I said sometimes you know you look at the safety of the shore and you know everybody's at the shore right and if you do what everybody else does you know you, you could be happy you could be content there's nothing wrong with that but then there's always the unknown the what I could have should have done and that's the thing I try to live my life with as few regrets as possible and to do that I have to sometimes go outside the norm go where the crowds aren't and um, it's just a little epiphanous moment I had I just wanted to share and I know that uh, yeah, I don't know, it might be cheesy or corny, but it's just something that um, I was thinking about when I was just staring out there. But um, but yeah, you never know what you're gonna find in life, or you don't know what adventures are to be had unless you leave the safety of your shore. And that shore, what I mean by it, it could be home, it could be your hometown, it could be a job that you're not happy in, it just because something you just did because everybody expected that of you. But sometimes until you take the risk, you know, you embrace your life, you never know what's out there. And the last thing I wanted to add to that, I forgot to mention is, you know, if you don't know what direction you want to go in life, and yeah, it can be scary. You know, you see the waves, you see, you have no map, you have no destination in mind, but my advice to you is just pick any direction. Swim in that direction until you reach somewhere, and you can always change course. So even if the direction you first picked didn't work out, you can always change course in life. All right, just past uh, four hours in the sauna soup. I did take a dip in the water because needed to. Uh, so it's kind of cheating, I guess. Nonetheless, I'm now, uh, I've been out the water now. I'm uh, over four hours in the sauna suit. Uh, plan to try to do one more push for five hours. <sighs> Trying to push all the way to five hours. And uh, yeah, uh, again, just as a, an advisory, um, don't attempt doing anything like this unless you know your body really well. You have some supervision. Um, you hydrate, 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 because your body is sweating profusely, and you will end up, uh, you know, losing a lot of water uh, through your sweat. So again, hydrate, 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 and you know, most of the time when you're first trying on a sauna suit, you don't want to go more than like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I've been doing this now for about over a year. So I'm well conditioned. I also know my body very, very well. So again, I wouldn't attempt something like this unless I had done some preparation and uh, taken some precautions. So anyhow, still going, still going. Okay, I just passed five hours, heading back to the boat. So I have done it in 80 some degree weather with 80 plus percent humidity. I did the sauna suit challenge for over five hours. I was going just for four, but after I passed four, I was like, let me just go one more. So five plus hours in the sauna suit done. Okay, so I did over five hours in the sauna suit today here in Bimini, Bahamas. And it was a lot of sweating I did today. I'm, I feel a little slightly heat exhausted. My, my whole body's kind of like a lobster right now because I've been baking out in the sun. But here it is. There's the suit and this coin in the recycle. And that has been today's uh, sauna suit challenge. It's late night, it's like two something in the morning. Um, was restless, couldn't sleep, so decided to just take a walk. And we are heading back, uh, have a whole day at sea today uh, before getting back to Miami. Uh, decided to just take a long walk around the boat just to kind of see, I don't know what shoreline that is over there. But, uh, but yeah. You know, you have problems sleeping at night, sometimes getting a little bit of exercise or just a little bit, uh, just a walk or something, uh, works works magic. Uh, I've never been able to take melatonin or any of sleep aids, so uh, yeah, just take a little stroll and, and uh, try to go back to sleep in a bit.